today i'll talk about infrastructure requirement and equipment requirement of blood bank this is part of my series of lectures on blood banking there are certain documents which are useful in management of blood bank and uh, these are national blood policy of a country national standards nabh uh, this is applicable for india blood bank standards and who blood bank design these are documents which are available on the internet and these can be found on uh, google search so uh, to manage a blood bank uh, these are certain useful headings one is that a blood bank uh, uh, should be a legal entity it should have a particular owner or it should be associated with the hospital and uh, it should have a license these two are basic requirements then there are infrastructure requirements which include space requirement and equipment requirement in my uh, lecture today i will cover this uh, uh, aspect of blood bank management then there is manpower requirement which include number of manpower required qualifications of manpower duties and responsibilities of manpower i have a separate lecture on manpower requirement of a blood bank then uh, there are processes of blood bank uh, which include process flow and uh, mostly blood bank is involved in uh, the preparation and issue of blood and components and uh, the uh, all the procedure should be done uh, using a standard operating procedure manual and uh, apart from the uh, this process blood bank is also involved in advanced red cell serology uh, 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 example uh, detection of uh, uh, various red cell antigen antibodies and uh, management of uh, blood banking for thalassemia patients then uh, the quality control aspect of blood bank i have a, a full lecture on quality control management in blood bank and this include quality control policy quality manual document control internal quality control methods and external quality assurance participation hospital transfusion committee uh, hemovigilance and uh, internal audit management review meeting and quality indicators then uh, uh the uh, quality management include internal quality control external quality assurance internal audit document control incident management biosafety hemovigilance program this is uh, the short form for hemovigilance program of india and uh, every country or nation have its own hemovigilance program and there is also international body of hemovigilance for hemovigilance known as international hemovigilance network so now let us see what is the space requirement or building norms uh, for blood bank so uh, according to who literature there are various subsections of blood center or blood bank which include blood collection facility then uh, other section is processing unit then inventory and distribution unit laboratory unit quality management unit administration unit and engineering department so let us see what uh, should be the uh, part uh, or divisions of and functional area of blood collection facility uh, these uh, requirements are for a workload of 12000 uh, units uh, per year or uh, which require a donor couch this is according to who 2010 and according to health and family welfare literature of india or document of india 1995 for a workload of 6000 to 15000 workload or donations per year so the blood collection facility include a reception area waiting area interview room examination room donor room that is actual collection room donor lounge pantry donor treatment room in case of any adverse reaction happens to donor then uh, meeting room and afrs room these are the basically area requirement is these are these figures are in meter square and these are the guidelines of health and family welfare india and these are the guidelines of who 2010 and uh, for uh, donor room that is the actual collection room the requirement is 9 meter square uh, uh, area 
per couch per donor couch and uh, there is a requirement of eight donor couch for this much workload then processing unit for uh, 100 units per day workload uh, this is the requirement and the subdivisions are component preparation and quarantine blood product storage and uh, the quarantine blood product storage include plasma uh, freezing plasma storage red cell storage platelet storage and this is the 28 meter square area requirement then component preparation we need 50 meter square area requirement then inventory and distribution subdivision it has following subsections that is release blood product storage so these are the uh, blood products which are which have already been tested for tti and uh, this require a 27 meter square area then communication room 8 meter square area then this is the laboratory this is the workload uh, for this much workload that is 100 units per day the who 20 10 document uh, recommendation is 24 meter square uh, room for blood group testing 30 meter square room for tti testing 9 meter square for reagent storage and 30 meter square for net testing then administrative unit for 100 units per day workload who 20 10 document recommends 12 meter square area for director then similarly for deputy director then general office donor recruitment room uh, this is a, a very important activity uh, in blood banking then general store this is general store 9 meter square area so now uh, a little bit about ambient temperature control the temperature of uh, blood bank room should be 24 plus minus 2 degrees centigrade in summer with a humidity of 50% and uh, in winter it should be 21 plus minus 2 degree centigrade with a humidity of 40% then uh, these are the uh, illumination requirement so for storage area the illumination requirement is 250 lux and uh, for fine work the requirement is 700 lux and for laboratory work the requirement is 500 lux and in donor room we need a color corrected light to see the true color of donor skin so that we can decide about uh, the donor acceptance then during construction the corridor should have a width of 1700 mm and height of 2700 mm and uh, the door should be 1200 mm wide and the office should be 2400 mm in height so this was about building uh, or space requirement then uh, let us see a uh, brief about equipment requirement i have separate full lectures on equipment management uh, with respect to clinical laboratory uh, the uh, viewers are referred to those lectures for detail i will talk about briefly equipment requirement with respect to blood bank so according to guideline the blood center shall be furnished with all equipments required for provision of services that is collection component preparation processing examination and storage of blood and its component and all other functions so this is the statement and this statements include uh, these many equipments so these are the equipments required uh, in donor room or collection uh, room uh, so these are the equi equipments for blood donation then these are the equipments which are required in laboratory these are equipments which are required in tti laboratory these are the equipments which required in component preparation then these are the equipments which required for blood stock storage of blood and blood components then these are the general equipments and uh, the equipment for biomedical waste management this is a list uh, uh, of small or con uh, consumable items which are required in blood bank day to day activities and these are the consumable reagents i have classified it as uh, those reagents which are required for blood grouping those reagents which are required for coombs testing those reagents which are required for cross matching those reagents which are required for hemoglobin estimation those reagents which are required for red cell advance test and those reagents which are required for transfusion transmitted infections so now the blood center shall have policies and procedures 
to ensure that calibration, maintenance, and monitoring of equipment conform to the blood center standard and other specified requirements. So we have equipment properly maintained and calibrated, and the equipment should be monitored. We should have an equipment log register. The record of each piece of equipment shall be properly maintained. I have just talked about equipment maintenance register and uh, other records, including N1 maintenance contract, comprehensive maintenance contract. They should be maintained. Then uh, whenever uh, required uh, equipment is found to be defective, it shall be taken out of service immediately. The blood center shall have a policy for selection, procurement, and installation of the equipment. It include the following qualifications. So these are the qualifications for equipment, installation qualification, operational qualification, performance qualification. Then the blood center should have a policy and procedure for appropriate alternate storage where the blood and blood components sh shall be sifted in the event of breakdown of storage equipment. This is very essential. We should have an alternate designated storage space in case of uh, failure of storage equipment. So uh, I think this is uh, all for today. Thank you very much.